Okay, hi guys. So this is my latest binder um, for the last three months for my year of my life 2016 journal that I'm keeping. I've done it a little differently every year and this year I'm using a binder inspired of course by the ladies over at The Documented Life. I can only get two or three months in each binder so um, depending on where I've gone and how much is you know I've documented and and how much stuff I've stuck in here. Um, this has June, July, and August in it, and I just I just finished the last page spread here. I've been doing these doodle books um, every month this year. I started actually in I think November of last year, and um, I decided um, a few months back that I would start putting these clear. Uh, pockets into the journals in the month the um, doodle book is from somewhere and that I would store the little doodle books in this journal so I just put August in here and a couple of other things and some paint pen and I think it's hopefully dry enough to close <laughs> and um, now we're gonna set up September and I'll show you how I've been doing that put that over there right now so this is a new binder. They come like this. These are Recollections um, binders from Michaels. Um, this is the Modern Journal. I think that's what it's called. And I picked this one because I like the saying on the front. And uh, the saying says, nothing great in the world has been accomplished without passion. I love that. So the first thing I always do is go in and take it comes with these inserts and I always take them all out. Um, the next thing I do is slice open the clear plastic cover enough that I can get to the elastic band to use it and I want to put um, the labels on the spine. I've been labeling the spine so we have to sort of bend it back a little bit on itself to get the cover off. And I need to get my label maker out. I think we're going to have to change the tape. Um, maybe. Let's see. Oh, no. I got the right one in there. All right. So we're going to put... Let me see. What did I do last time? <laughs> I just looked at it just two seconds ago. Okay. So I think... So this is... We're going to do September and October in one journal and November and December in another one. Um, for a couple reasons. Number one, we're going into the holiday season. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff to stick in the journals, but um, I also cannot fit four months in one journal. There's just no way. So it makes more sense to split it up two and two. And I do have actually two more of these journals, so uh, these binders. So we're going to do September and October in here. So um, turn it on. And first we'll do a year label, if I remember how. Um, yep, I do. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, and then we'll go backwards. And we will do um, September. And October. And then scissors. So I'll we'll cut these apart. So then we'll stick these on the spine and I'm going to put the year uh, on the top. Okay. 
then we are going to take our plastic cover again back and I'm going to slice it just right up to the point where the elastic is so that it will stay on the binder and yet I can still use it to protect the cover of the journal. So then we will put this back in. Take this label off of the back side. Of course it did not come off cleanly just because I'm on camera. Otherwise it come off fine. <laughs> okay, there we go. Then what we can do is we can take this elastic put the plastic underneath it. That's done. Now what we want to do is put our sections in. Now I have, I always prepare um, lots of pages ahead of times and sometimes if there's lots of stuff going on in a month or I have stuck a lot of stuff in then there's, I have to take pages out. So I have some things pe prepared ahead of time and um, that I don't have to um, worry about too much got some little bits and pieces. It's just kind of my spare bits and pieces section. Um, some of these have hole punches in them already. So we're going to get out, I have calendars. So we're going to put the calendars in. And I have a bunch of odds and ends that people have sent me, some from Happy Mail. And I think I want to use some of that. And I have uh, homemade divider tabs, and I have more sheets where I can make mo more divider tabs. But I have two that I want to use, so let's use them. So the first thing we're going to do is print uh, another couple of labels. I should have done that before I erase September. Because we're going to put the month on here on the tab. I've been doing this all year. I just don't normally film it. I will need to go grab my binder punch. I have this thing for binder and planner punches. I love them. Okay. And there is a mini binder punch uh, put out by Staples that perfectly fits this um, little binder. So I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to just fold the little corners down. So we have September, and then I like to put a couple pages in the front, and on the pages I take the printed pages that came with the binders, and I add some stickers with my artwork on it, maybe an inspirational word here and there, some washi tape. So we're going to put a couple of those in. Then I like to take another little, like, just this is just card, some of my artwork printed on cardstock. And then um, another page. I like to put one or two large tags in. I have these large tags. I actually started printed the days of the week on it thinking I would do something else with them and I didn't. I end up just using it really as background texture um, to the rest of what's going on in my in my journal. So this is the Staples Punch. This particular one I got on clearance. I've since purchased another one as a backup. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to center the holes. Oops. Put that in. And then, let's see. I have some little clear plastic pockets. I can put tickets or something in. They don't quite fit, so let's repunch them, shall we?
There we go. Then we're going to put in September. Then I'm going to put another page in. I have to decorate it. It has nothing on it. Oh, well, wait, I have these. Hold on. Hold the phone, why don't you? I've got all of these. See, these already have some stuff on them. So let's use these. So I'll put that in there. Then I'm going to put this next one. We've got to put our label on it for October. Okay. Then we want to put a couple of pages. And then how about some artwork? And I have some like little uh, bits and pieces. I think I'm going to want to stick these in here somewhere that were gifted to me. We'll get the basic pages in here first. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yep, see there's another piece of artwork. Tag, tag, tag. So there's no rhyme or reason to it. Just stick things in here. You can be anal about it like I am. <laughs> you know, and want to make sure everything's like in the same order. Or you can just randomly stick things in, which is probably the more fun way to do it. October. And then move this in. Okay. Now I do want to stick these in here. So we are going to open up some sections and I'm going to put this here. I'm going to take these um, flashcards that were sent to me and I don't remember who sent them to me, but they're really cool. So let's put some of those in. Two more of those. And then in October, we'll put the third one and we'll put this. Um, it's like a um, menu kind of a thing. What is this? It's like a price sheet. Um, but it's covered with like resin or something. And these might all be from Jerry Bellini. Because I do think she sent me some resin paper. And that might be who this is from. I'm not positive. It might be from... Maybe maybe y'all recognize the paper. And it's from you. Put something in the messages below. And I thank you. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So we've got clear pockets in. So we can put these back in my basket for the next time we have to do this. Um, I have these and these. And let's see, I'm going to put some of this back in the basket. I've got some little random bits and pieces of paper. I've got these um, stickers, again, that one of y'all sent me, and I don't remember who. I know I have some pages back here with nothing on them, so let's use some of these, shall we?
Don't think about it too much. Just stick them down. Don't analyze the crud out of it. One more, and then that one's all used up. Okay, I like that. I want to put some um, words on some of these pages. They don't all have words on them. Where are my word stickers? They're around here somewhere. I do think I'm running out of words. I'm going to have to print them again pretty soon. Oop. I, I just ripped my sheet of words. <laughs> it's stuck here in the bottom of the... It's stuck! That can't be good. Okay, there we go. Got it! Alright. So. Okay, that's going to have to come off of there. Now I'm going to have to stick something else on there, see? I'm not going to edit this stuff out the, where I made the mistakes. I'm going to leave it in. Oh, here's a good word. So I'm not analyzing it um, too much. I am just pulling off the words off of my sheet that call to me in the moment. Um, I do have this, um, these words um, pre-formatted to fit on this Avery sticker sheet. Um, number 18667, already pre-formatted and for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, so the link is in the description below. out what to do with these, how to how to store them, maybe put them in a glycine bag. Because that's all like that's all wacky now. Alright. To fix the one artwork piece that we that I messed up, that we messed up. We didn't mess it up. You guys didn't have anything to do with it. I did. I'm gonna take this other sticker sheet, which is again this is from my Etsy shop. And I'm gonna pull off this round label. Looking for a word. Found two words that I like. So we're going to put this one on here journal again. 
And now I have the uh, another one of these little sketchbooks that is going to be for September. So this is all set up, and I have a couple of these plastic pockets um, that I can um, stick the book in. I also have a bigger pocket. Um, these are nice to just have tucked inside of here. I can also use them to put on a page to tuck tickets and things in. Those are from Amazon. So this is all ready to go. Now on the little booklet I do like to start off the month by putting a sticker or something on the front that says September. So let's get out my uh, ginormous sticker storage binder. Let's pull something out. Sometimes I pull out, like I have a bunch of old scrapbooking stickers from when my daughter was a kid and I will pull out like a Tigger or maybe a butterfly. Um, I'm actually thinking maybe a butterfly this month. What color is that book? It's pink. Let's see. of those. I've got some planner stickers that honest, honestly I don't use much. You know what? Here's a Tinkerbell. One of you all sent me this. Let's put Tinkerbell on the front. I mean the front's already cute and all, but Still need one to stick on the edge or something to um, write September on. Let's see. I even have some vintage gummed labels, which are really cool. You know, these might this might be nice to have this dark label for a change. it down here and with a white gel pen all right September really should have my glasses on to do this. I like that. Okay, we can put this monster away. So here we go. We are all ready for tomorrow, which is September 1st. I've got my journal ready. I've got my doodle daily doodle book ready. I'm all ready to go. How about you? All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe do something for somebody else too because they probably deserve it too. All right, that's it guys. See you later. Bye.